Now to the final frontier and the first human trip to the moon in almost 50 years. But this isn't a NASA mission. SpaceX plans it for two private citizens. Two. One, SpaceX zero. will attempt to launch two unnamed individuals said to be very serious about traveling around the moon. They've already put down what's described as a significant deposit. A CBS News space consultant Bill Harwood. Talk is cheap and actually launching a mission like this safely is a tall order. The company has not released what the week-long journey will cost, but says it will take the amateur space travelers near the moon's surface and then further out into space before looping back to Earth, a distance of three to 400,000 miles. They'll be aboard the capsule Crew Dragon, a fully automated spacecraft with no human pilot. Three years ago, SpaceX founder Elon Musk told Scott Pelley for 60 Minutes his friends were dubious. I had so many people try to talk me out of starting a ride company, it was, it was crazy. What did they tell you? One good friend of mine collected a whole series of, of uh, videos of rockets blowing up and made me watch those. He just didn't want me to lose all my money. In fact, SpaceX added to the collection of explosion videos with two spectacular failures. But recently, the company has had a string of successful launches and landings. Still, Musk is known for making bold predictions that don't quite come to pass. In 2011, he vowed to put people in space in three years. That has yet to happen. Elon Musk makes no secret of his Steve desire to send humans to Mars. Confirm. This is a major step in that direction. Tonight, NASA released a statement commending its, quote, industry partners for reaching higher. NASA plans to work closely with SpaceX to ensure it safely meets the contractual obligations to return the launch of astronauts to U.S. soil.